hello hello everyone i'm back for hebdenness <clears throat> so we've just been uh, doing those of you who just joined this session um earlier today i was doing um the kids session and we were customizing t-shirts and tops um, so if you want to have a look at that, it'll be uploading now. So hopefully it'll be up on the channel in a couple of hours, if not before. I'm just going to wait till everyone starts joining in before I, um, hi Tammy. Hi Nessa. Hi again. Hi Kim. Oh, this is so hot. This, I think I've moaned about this cup before. It's got hollow, it's hollow here. So all the tea goes up into there. So it gets really hot. Morning. Obviously saying good morning, but it's afternoon for us here in the UK. The Jeanette. My Daisy. I don't know who you are. My Daisy 66. Are you a Daisy? Or is that just your name? That's what's really hard when names come up and you want to say hey, and then you realise it's just like an online name. It's not the real name. Hence. Well, I'm thinking Sal's name was Stratus. Stratus Strong. <laughs> we'll wait for Alex as well to join us. She's probably shortly going to be up, popping up here. So Rosie is super busy at the moment with coffee shop orders because you guys are doing lots of productive things at home with your sewing. So she's um, not going to be doing this this week, I don't think. Um, because, um, yeah, she's got so many to do. I just realised that this was all tucked up. Thank you, Dee. This is the, um, I'm wearing the Freya blouse, which is our newest addition to the uh, family. Uh, this was released last week in the general release, or well, the week before if you're in the PDF club. And this is the short sleeve version, which I'm really happy with the length of the sleeve because I didn't want it to be up here. I thought that would look little girly. But also, so many of us don't like the tops of our arms. And this is kind of a nice like, summery top that covers the tops of your arms, but also without taking, compromising the design, in my opinion. Um, and uh, yeah, I love it. So we've got three um, samples currently. Uh, this is not going back into the shop, this one. This is staying in my wardrobe. And we've also got, thank you, Alex. Alex is there with the link to it. We've also got a lovely red one, which also very fond of, that Julie made. Nicole made this one. Julie and Nicole are by far our most talented seamstresses in the company. Um, and they've done beautiful sewing on both of these. Um, and then there's also a floral one, which is probably a bit less than me. So I think I'll put that one as the sample in the shop. Anyway, so we are going to be doing a Hebden t-shirt today. Um, so you can do this for men or for women. We have got all the sizes and the construction is exactly the same. So um, we are going to, I'm cut mine out in a viscose jersey. And in fact, the jersey that I've got, I found a bolt with all the delivery that came up here and that I hadn't realised that I had. So um, Rosie is going to be adding that so to the online shop. So if you're um, if you want to get some of this, there isn't masses. I think I've got five or six meters, but you only need a meter, don't you, for this? So if you want to get some of this, then there is a little bit of it available. Um, and maybe Alex, you can have a check in a little bit and see if it's gone up and we can link to it. Um, <clears throat> so just have a sip of tea. Um, we'll just get done as much as we can. I'm not sure if we'll be able to finish it. Certainly because I am making a large, so it's going to just take a bit longer to sew the seams. So I'm making this for a friend because um, I feel like I've got lots of lovely new clothes. Um, I'm currently uh, finishing off my eve for tomorrow and I've decided to make things a bit more interesting. Um, I, make, I made an eve blouse, so basically I've just kind of um, chopped it off so it's got like a peplum. So I thought it'd be interesting for you guys to see what it looks like and me because I haven't done that before. And then I'm going to be making an actual dress with you guys on the live so long so that's fun but yeah we should just get going shouldn't we before i do though uh thank you to all of you who have donated already towards our um so alongs we really appreciate us us <laughs> it we appreciate you um and um it's really helping us keeping us going and i think i mentioned last week that last month 
uh, we made um, enough money to pay one of the team salaries for that month. So it really is helping. And um, so I really do appreciate all of you lovely, generous people who have given something. And please do not feel bad if you can't afford to give anything at the moment. We understand that. Um, it, um, the main thing is that we're able to, everyone's able to access this. So if anyone wants to, um, to forward this on to a friend or also give it a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel, that's also helping us out as well. Right, Hebden t-shirt. So it's a nice, easy one, this one. I've brought flowers in today just to, you know, I bought these at the, I had my first supermarket trip in five weeks at the weekend. I was very, very excited about being in a supermarket, although I had a mask on and I couldn't breathe easily with the mask on. And uh, yeah, it wasn't an enjoyable experience, but at least it was nice to get out and I managed to get some flowers. So um, yeah, I'm just, what I'm doing here. So it's important with the back and the front that it's really, oh, it's out of focus. Ooh. I don't know what to do about that. It's fuzzy. Okay. What should I do? What should I do? Maybe somebody's... Alex, have you got fuzziness? Oh, how bizarre. Why is everyone... Out? It's not out of focus to me. It must be something to do with the internet. I might have to go and... Sorry, guys. Oh, no, I can't. Let me just see. But I don't know if I can... It's there. Yeah, there we go. Thanks, Alex. It's not always brilliant. Oh, it's saying I've got full bar. Refresh. Sorry, guys. We're out in the sticks here. We haven't got super good Wi-Fi. Right, what I was saying is the back and the front are very similar. Um, so I keep the... Uh, the pattern on until I'm using it. So I'm the back we're not going to use first. And I just put that to one side. Sorry guys, you've not got it completely clear. And I just put that to one side. Sorry guys, you've not got it completely clear. Hi Carol. Yes, that's it. I was like, where have I put it? Right, okay. So this is my front piece. And I just don't know where I put the sleeve. Here it is. Here is my sleeve. So also I find like the, the back, the front and the sleeve are all relatively similar. Obviously the sleeve, it's not cut on the fold, but even so, um, they are similar. I'm just going to check on um, my pattern. Yes, so on the sleeve, you'll have the double notches to mark the back and a single notch, hi Claire, to mark the front. So does this fabric have a right side or a wrong side? Yes, I do believe it does. So the right side is facing me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin one of my sleeves to one of um, my shoulder seams on the front. So that's the right side. Oh gosh, guys, this is going to get right. Okay, we're going to have to do some marking, aren't we? Otherwise, I'm going to I'm going to put a pin in the right side, so I know right side. <clears throat> So, single notch marking the front, and we are going to pop that oops, to the shoulder seam. I don't, it's not really a shoulder seam, is it? The raglan seam on the front. So we've got, let's mark up, line up the neckline first, and then we've also got to mark up our first notch there. And then we've got to mark up our second notch there and then we've got to mark up the bottom bit there okay so I'm going to actually do that on both I'm going to do all my pinning but we think of the instructions we say do one and then do the other but just so I'm kind of not moving my machine back and forth hi Sal um, I'm going to um, put it the other one on also, I'm getting really worried that I'm going to accidentally sew something on the wrong way in terms of this fabric, because there is a very slight difference between the right side and the wrong side. So much so that I'm having to keep doubting myself. Yeah, that is right. Okay. Oop. I can take that pin out now. So again, just doing exactly the same. Have you seen, guys? I've got nail varnish back on. Very excited about that. My nails were shocking. 
Oh gosh, I gave them a week of not having anything on. They're so weak. They've all like, sorry, fuzzy, sorry. They're all kind of, um, yeah, they can't grow because they're so weak. So unless I've got polish on them, that will strengthen them. So I bought off um, Amazon a uh, little, naff little kind of, um, oh, fingerprint on my camera. Oh, interesting. Where is your camera? Uh -uh. Better? <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's just the internet. I didn't think it was a focus problem because I can see myself very clearly. I mean, what will happen as well? Are you on the right connection? Yeah, I am. I am because I, <laughs> I checked that earlier. I am on the right connection. Because basically we've got a booster in that room and then we've got the, um, the router there. But I just think it's not very good. It's just up and down. Okay. Right, guys. I've pinned. Ow! I pinned um, and so now I'm going to stitch those so we recommend stitch length 1.5 so a zigzag stitch sorry so stitch point 1.5 and stitch width one for sewing this so we keep that stretch in there your seam allowance is 1.5 or 5 eighths of an inch oh I've missed a pin there I'm going to pop a pin in here seem to be up and down don't we guys with the internet so I'm sorry it's probably going to keep doing that because if it's having a tizzy it'll probably have another one but we shall persevere right so I am going to line up that now with this jersey you need to make sure that you don't start right on the edge because it's it can get caught underneath so I will start a little bit in um, and then reverse back from there even when I reverse back, I never go right back to the beginning. Too many times have I lost fabric and ripped a hole in viscose jersey from starting to um, near. Oh, I love this blouse so much. We thought, because Audrey was um, an easy pattern, um, we thought it would be forgiven for bringing out such an involved one next. But yeah. Mm. Doo -doo -doo. So, um, what else did I do this week? I had a whole day off on Saturday. So nice. I was in such a good mood. Um, not that I'm not in a good mood normally, but you know, sometimes I'm a bit tired and like, oh, I'm quite quiet at the moment just because I'm working a lot. Mm. And um, yeah, I've had a lovely day. We, we saw some little Shetland ponies in a near, nearby field. They were so cute, but one tried to bite me. Um, and uh, didn't bite me, but he was like, you know, little Shetland ponies can be a bit nippy. Um, so we did that, and we sat in the garden, and we played. Jasmine's become obsessed with playing shops. So we played shops a lot. Um, yeah, it was lovely. And I did have a think, actually, that... Um... <laughs> All right, noted, Silja. <laughs> um, I did think with our... Um... Just reverse as well on that at the top and at the bottom. Um, I did think, um, yes, next week. So it's Jasmine's birthday next Monday. And she's actually going to, Matt's going to come up and take her back down to London because um, he's got a bigger place and he obviously hasn't seen her properly for a long time. So he's going to be taking her back to London um, and then I'm going to be moving into my house for the, the week after that. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to have a bit of time off. Um, and uh, and just getting myself sorted before I move back to London. And why am 
I tell you all of that? <laughs> oh yeah. So it's Jasmine's birthday on that day. We're going to be celebrating it at the weekend anyway, because I'll be I'll have to set off um, after this slot um, to meet Matt halfway to hand over Jazzy. So what I'm trying to say is, I know loads of people want to see these headbands. Okay. Yep. Did I do? Yes, I did do one, didn't I? Yeah, it's disappeared. Okay. I'll look that up. Um, sorry, vintage hair bands. Um, uh, yeah, what I was going to say is I'm going to run the kids one straight into this one because then um, Jazzy often wakes up at about half two from her nap. So I kind of want to be finished at half two next Monday. So Alex, if you can just change the schedule, that'd be amazing. And then um, that means we don't have to not do anything. I can still be here, but um, I can then just, yeah, be with Jazzy for as much as possible that day. Um, does try be careful when you're sewing this viscose that you don't overhandle it because you can stretch it. We're going across some kind of very stretchy points on the jersey when we do the raglan. So you just, I'm really handling it very delicately, not trying to stretch or force it through at all. Sometimes it feels like it's not feeding. Oops. It's not, it's not feeding properly, but I need to give it a little bit. But it, it generally, as long as it's still moving through, Now done, looking already like a t-shirt, isn't it? Okay, so now we are going to, you're meant to, you're meant to, I mean, you can do what you want, but what we recommend is that you press it, um, I do believe towards the sleeves, um, but you, you press it towards the sleeves and then you go on and do the next, um, the, it's exactly the same on the back. But because I'm making this for a friend, I really want to um, finish the seam with an overlocker because I think it will just look a bit neater. Um, more profesh. So I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to put the back on, then I can get my overlocker out, do my finishing, then do my ironing. So just going a little bit rogue today, guys. So I'm going to get the back and do that. So obviously you can do this with me in this order or you can stick to what the instructions say. So I have finished as well, guys. I've finished my scrub sewing. So obviously I wasn't here on Thursday and Friday in terms of live sew-alongs. Got a random thread that's just stitched in there. Um, so I was on Thursday afternoon and Friday, I was filming um, those and the first one has gone up and uh, the second one will be going up. Um, it's just been edited by Molly and we've just got an issue slightly with files not behaving. Again, I'm having, oh gosh, which is the right side and which is the wrong side? He. Um, so yes, yeah, so we've just got an issue that basically I we transferred all the files to Molly so she could edit it and they all jumbled up <laughs> So it took a while to edit um, and then um, but she did that yesterday and then there's an issue when we exported it It was doing something naughty. So we're just getting our film guy to check it and see what's going on But we'll get that one up soon after um, Hopefully today So if you are making scrubs, then um, yeah, it will be up uh, later today so um just letting you know that you've got a double notch here for this back sleeve um so or rather for attaching the sleeve to the back so just you've got a double notch and then you've got a single notch just because to help with the balance i am getting a little bit though i'm slightly worried because it looks like i'm having to do some easing nope oh no nope. okay let's just put that back um the notch is just slightly out. Is anyone else finding that that the notch is slightly out? It's the it's the single notch, not the double notch. Because if you are, then we can ask Super Wiz Nicole to have a look at that. But yeah, I think it's just my version of the pattern. It's that one there. Um, cotton jersey. No, we actually recommend viscose jersey for this one. We do, we do, we do. 
um, just because, I mean, you can make it out of cotton as well. It's completely up to you, really. I think probably women probably prefer this um, viscose jersey, maybe. It's a bit flat, more flattering and elegant, but men might prefer um, cotton jersey. Well, my friend is getting viscose because that's all I've got. <laughs> Lockdown measures, but no, viscose is what we, um, the stitch, so this is a pattern from the stitch school, which you can get if you want to just get this pattern, you can just get it um, now as one of our PDF patterns. But if you're a member of the stitch school, whether that's the £5 or the £15 subscription, you um, will get this pattern for free. So you can check it out on there. But yeah, viscose is absolutely fine, but it will, it's not as easy to work with, is it, viscose? Mm. But I do love the drape of this ghost jersey. Okay, I'm going in for the next bit of uh, sewing. So just sewing now the sleeves to the back t-shirt. Same seam allowance, 1.5. Oh, thank you, Kim, for joining the Stitch School. It's a really good re resource to have at the moment, the Stitch School, because it's just, we've got more time, haven't we? Oh, thanks, guys. We've got more time, um, and you get access to so many patterns um, and so many videos and um, helpful tips and things. So um, it is really great. And we're, we've kind of, we have got actually another, um, but it's, it's just a question of time to get it edited, because, um, as you know, everything's hard at the moment with time and people's and the sew over team we're all a bit stretched with various things so but yeah we have got another video we want to add to that and hopefully soon we'll be able to film more yay so scrubs is up or soon to be up the boat so i mean making the scrubs i really want to make my family some um, masks but i wasn't i was just having a quick look yesterday and i thought i don't actually know which pattern to choose and then i thought do you know what i'm going to ask everybody online tomorrow because i know some of you have been making them so who can recommend a good mask pattern and i thought i could do a little i could just we could make it on the end of one of these or something if, if anyone wanted me to but it sounds like a lot of you already are making them and doing a very good job of that uh, uh, uh. Oh, that's great that you got your fabric. Brilliant. The Olsen. Olsen mask. I should write that down. Olsen mask. Okay. And are people just using cotton to make them? Assuming cotton is best. The key thing is that you need to be able to wash them at a really hot temperature, I guess but also cotton is breathable, isn't it? So I had one of those sort of medically disposable ones on when I went to Tesco's the other day. I could not breathe in it, I hated it. It was horrible, it's getting panicky. Okay, next one. It's got a pocket for a filter, cotton wire over the nose. Okay, so that keeps it on your nose two layers and some non-woven interfacing. Okay, interesting. Oh, now we're getting stuck because I'm focusing on face masks and not stitching. What's going on? Mm. Oh, brilliant. Oh, so many of these. Okay, guys, um, I will um, have a look at the comments afterwards and um, make some notes. Thank you, thank you so much. I don't know when I'm going to have a chance to, but I feel like I should be making my family some masks. That's more important than clothes that I'm making. Um, not that I'm making anything extra other than what we're doing here for this, but I had all these wonderful ideas of me sewing all the things I've wanted to sew. Um, however, when Jazzy goes back, I am going to get some more time to myself. And so I am, I am hoping that I'll be able to do a little bit more then. Oh, that's good. Oh, there's a mask pattern by somebody in France. Yes, okay. You've got to wear it in the right way. And also, you mustn't touch it, of course. So, you know, and I think that's what I was getting annoyed at. I was like wanting to faff with it in the supermarket. And I thought, well, that's worse trying to touch my face. Anyway. 
Anyway, I should do some more research based on what you guys have said. Thank you. So, at the end of this, guys, we will have something that clearly looks like a t-shirt. A long sleeve t-shirt. It will just not have the arms stitched. I think the hardest thing is, and it's not really that hard, but is the uh, neckband. But it really is a nice, simple, easy make, this. Okay, I'm gonna... <laughs> Obviously, this is gonna be very big for me. <sighs> to give you a context of shape. Oh, it's like a, it's like a stylish poncho. <laughs> okay, so that's what it's looking like at the moment. I'm going to do some overlocking to make it look neat. And so my friend is super impressed by my sewing skills. I feel like otherwise, if I give it to him, he'd be like, uh, why, what's this like cut fabric inside? I thought you were really good at sewing, Lisa. Oh. Mm. Okay. So I'm just going to overlock the seams together. Now you really don't need to do this, but if you want to go by all means do join me. Let's hope we don't get too much, oops, wrong presser foot, wrong pedal rather. Let's hope we don't get too much vibration on top of potential blurriness. This is a large, I'm making a large, but a men's large. You can also, we um, have made some versions of this that are contrast. Obviously that then sh it indicates the style a little bit more. But um, uh, yeah, the contrast, I think, like I quite like to make one which was white and then navy. another one done I'm getting very confused with what I've got here I mean it's quite funny you do get quite lost in this <laughs> there we go oh. I'd like to someone was saying they're sewing an Audrey I yeah look nice wouldn't it Kim white and navy mm. I love navy really love navy. um but I really want to make um a Audrey dress I want to take Audrey, find the waist point. So by doing, so how I do it, so you'd make the Audrey top the standard, and then you'd find your waist point um, by tying a ribbon, and then from there make a mark about probably two centimeters down to be safe, and then cut it along on that mark, draw straight, take it off, draw a straight line, and then make a gathered skirt and just sew that on. Or you could get um, the skirt from Emma, the Emma dress actually. That would be a bit more wintry and it, as we're in spring. And then I thought I quite I'd really like it in a kind of midi length. So that's on my list of things to do. But I don't have any, I don't have any fabric at the moment. So um, yeah, because the only thing I thought was that the Audrey is best in. Um, cotton jersey but for the skirt you'd need to have that in viscose jersey so i was thinking well maybe i'd just make it with the simple band and then not the uh not the bow because that might look a bit limp in viscose jersey what do you think what are your thoughts if i do it i will of course report back and show you it I really keep losing myself. There, no. Have I done all of them? No. I didn't think I'd done. I've only done three, haven't I? Right.
Oh, we've got sewing machine chat going on. that I need to do my neck band adds the flaving <laughs> oh, and again I'm struggling no that's the right side whilst I'm waiting for the iron to heat up I'm just gonna join that so we're just joining the short ends of the neck band like that <laughs> okay. Right, press time. So we're pressing it towards the sleeves. Sorry, guys, let's move that there and pivot this round. Um, there we go. That's the sleeve there. Let's move that along. Ooh. Let me just get my scissors so I can snip the threads off because I've been a bit lazy with my threads. My thread snipping. Mm. So pressy pressy towards the sleeve. that's that one and there's a little bit of sort of rippling in the edge where I've overlocked but that's just disappearing with the pressing so dad dad does the ironing in this house and uh, I keep telling him I keep having it all lovely and right for me and then he comes and irons and he doesn't put enough water in I can't really shout it in there can I am living in this house <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's really funny. My dad is not a great timer. He just does it, to, you know, because he's, you know, helping out. And he always does it in front of the TV. And I was watching him do it. And literally, I was just like, I think you're making that garment worse, Dad. He's just like, <laughs> like, you know, like, not really kind of going into the nooks. And then he just, then after he's found it, he folds it. So, like, he's made, like, ironed a T-shirt or a dress. And then he folds it and puts it on the table. And so then it appears in your room and it's like got massive creases through it. Anyway, shh, don't tell him. It's okay, he's not watching me. He won't find out. <laughs> but yeah, so now I'm like, Dad, don't worry about ironing my clothes. You've got a lot on, I'll, you know, I'll just do it. Ha <laughs> ha, okay. I'm gonna leave this on here, I think, just wants to do this neck band. And that can almost you can just allow it to set a bit. Okay. Oh, my dad's a very nice man. He is. Yeah. <laughs> Tard and tours are great. He's loving them as well. It's like, oh, Lisa, when are we filming our next one? So, oh, soon, Dad, soon. I think the weather's going to turn, so I think I need to try and do it today. Mm. But yeah, he's a very nice man. Very good dad to me and my sister as well. We're very lucky. Both our parents are fab now. I think so now. I think this is still with the centimetre and a half seam allowance, I do believe. 
oops, no, I'm not on my zigzag. I need to go back onto that. So zigzag, um, so it was stitch length 1.5 and then stitch width one. Monkey, here comes a monkey. Hi! <laughs> Do you, oh, careful, there's a lead here, darling. Okay, come and have a quick cuddle with mummy, and then you're gonna have to go and see Tessie because mummy's sewing. And if you can see on mummy's phone there, she's filming live. Oh, your hair's all gone funny. Hey? Did you have a nice sleep? <laughs> Do you have a nice sleep? Yeah. Yeah? Should we go find Tess, Tessie and see if she's got something to tempt you? Or Grandpa? Okay. Tessie. Tessie? You want Tessie? Okay. We'll go see if we can find her. I don't think she's on the shift this afternoon. <laughs> we'll go see. Uh, guys, I'll be uh, very quick. Ooh. Yeah? Dad? Is Mum there? Right, sorry guys, sweet little Jazzy. It's fine, I'm back, Dad was there. Um, they always know Mum and Dad on Mondays, they've got to be nearby. It's nice to get a little bonus cuddle with her. Oh, she's just so gorgeous to cuddle that girl. Especially, I love cuddling her when she's just woken up for a nap. It's really hard letting her go, go to someone else because she's like so sleepy normally and like just wants to nuzzle in. Oh, right, I'm going to press this open. You can't see what I'm doing. Oops. Sorry, guys. Press this open. And then I'm going to press it in half lengthways, wrong sides together. Okay. Sorry, again, you can't probably see very easily what I'm doing here, but I'm basically just folding it in half, turning it into the neckband that will then stitch on. Mm -mm. So this is a really good project for somebody if you're new to sewing. I'd recommend making it out of cotton jersey though, because um, this goes is harder as we were saying. But it's a nice, easy project and it's also great for people who are experienced at sewing that have just come, just done a, um, uh, like a really big project. <laughs> and you want something easy. Or maybe you've just had a long day or a week or whatever and you just think, you know what, I can't, I don't have the energy to do something involved. Uh, then yeah, make yourself one of these. Oh. Oh gosh, the dummy. I can just hear Dad saying, where's the dummy? I think I took it out of her hand. Mummy's got the dummy. I don't know where I put it, Dad. Guys, do you see what I did with the dummy? <laughs> Where did I put the dummy? Hmm. So basically, she shouldn't have the dummy soon. We're talking to her about um, the dummy fairies. I don't know where the dummy is, Dad. Um, she didn't bring it down. Oh, right, okay, she didn't have it. Uh, You've got one, amazing. We've got to be careful because Poppy, oh, thanks guys. Um, Poppy um, eats dummies. So if we don't use them off the surface, she, before you know it, she's got it. Little little monkey. Anyway, the dummy fairies are coming soon to take them away. That's what we keep talking to her about. Right, okay. So now what we need to do with this neckband is we need to find uh, the quarter points. So the seam is here. I'll fold it in half like that and I'm going to put a pin in here. There we go. And then I'm going to put that seam to the pin so that I can then get quarter points. And then put pins in at the fold lines at that point. Like that. Okay. Then I'm going to take my take my cape 
and we need to find, we need to do exactly the same with this. So, I'm gonna use, I've got the fold line in the fabric that will show me the center front and the center back. So I never, when I'm making t-shirts, I always never, never sort of try and get rid of that until the end because it's often quite useful. Da, 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 da. Okay, and then once we put those together, we can then find the quarter points because they're not going to be in the middle of the neckline. Sorry, the shoulder because the neckline is lower at the front. Mm -hmm. So just lining up those two pins and then trying to keep this flat. It's easier if I do it on the table really, but then you can't see. And then in that fold line there, put your marker in. So we've now marked quarter points on both the neckband and the neckline. So the back is going to go with the back seam, which now I don't, <laughs> after just being like, oh, the front is lower. Yes, that's the back there. Um, so that is going to go there. So what we're doing is we're placing the band, the raw edge of the band. Um, so the raw edge of the neck band lining up with the raw edge of the um, neckline. Um, on the right side of the neckline as well. And then I'm going to line up my first pin. So we've got a pin there. Um, so the two pins are lined up. Then I'm going to come around to the front and line up my pin that's marking the front of the uh, neckline with the pin that corresponds on the neckband. And then again with the last pin. It's a bit fiddly, this. Like so. Now, you need to now resist the urge to want to put loads of pins in. Because what we're going to do is we're going to sew it and stretch it and not put pins in so we can stretch it as we go. Oh, I unplugged it so that Jazzy didn't get stuck. just need to put my settings back on. And then what I'll do is I'll talk you through it as I'm sewing. I think it's easiest. So we were stitch length 1.5 and stitch width 1. Okay, I've also just realised that my battery is running out on my phone. It's another challenge. Hopefully we'll finish before it runs out. If it ever freezes, that's why it freezes. Um, because it comes up and says battery low and that pauses the filming until I clear it. Okay, so I'm starting at the back. Now we're going to use a seam allowance of a centimetre or three eighths of an inch, whichever is best for you. Um, I'm not going to do a reverse. Oh, I just did a reverse. Not going to do one, but I did one. Um, you don't need to do a reverse because when you come back round, you can do it. But I've just started it off and now I am going to pull the neckband, but not the uh, T-shirt. Um, and I'm going to basically stretching the neckband as I go. And when you stretch it, you're going to have to keep stopping and making sure that your raw edges are still aligned. And it's very easy to stretch the T-shirt at the same time. So just be careful that you're not stretching the T-shirt. You're not stretching the neckline, you're just stretching the band. So I'm now doing my next quarter. So you just do it in quarter by quarter. So I've got now a next quarter. I'm checking that my uh, neckline is sitting flat. I'm not getting any ripples or any pleats that are accidentally getting stitched in there. I'm making sure that my seam allowance, my raglan seams is still facing towards the uh, sleeve. And I'm checking that I'm evenly stretching this neckband. That's the other thing. You don't want to really stretch it loads at the first section of that quarter and then not at the end. You want to try and keep the same stretch throughout. Coming up 
to my second quarter pin. The tongue is coming out, guys. The concentrating tongue. Can you just make sure that's lined up there? I am worried this fabric might be a little bit thin for this t-shirt. It's going to be, um, might be a bit, maybe you have to wear a vest with it. I was just thinking if he's cold, his nipples <laughs> would be like pointing through. It's not see-through, but it is, yeah, a bit thin. Or maybe he'll just use it as a pyjama top. I can suggest that. I don't know. I think I would wear it, but you know, obviously women, we've got bras on, so. Um, but then I guess men don't really, I don't know what I'm waffling on about. Men don't really worry about these things, do they? Oh. Yeah, I'm just checking that where that seam allowance needs to go. It does need to go forwards towards the sleeve. It is quite hard when you're down here sewing just to remember, like work out which section you're in because it is all quite similar. But it's narrower at the top of the sleeve than it is at the neckline at the front or the back. So that's an indication that you're at a sleeve point. Oh gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm terrible about um, thinking out loud. Alex will vouch for that. Alex, do I have a filter? Some days I have verbal diarrhea. And if there's no one there, then it's just got to be me. <laughs> no, no, of course not, Alex. Uh. Right, this is not, this is a little bit frustrating because this section needed a bit more stretching than it should have. And so I'm having to stretch the neckband a bit more than I'd like to. Just that last bit. And why that could be, I'm not sure. It's it could be that the neck of the garment has stretched a little bit because this is the last bit. So because it's been overhandled, it may have stretched out a bit more. Might have got caught around there. I don't know. Hopefully, though, it will press flat and it'll be fine. We will see. Okay. There we go. So, let's have a look. Yeah. Oh no, we've got a little nick there. What's that from? That's, oh, that's where it was just too much fabric. Tiny though, tiny, tiny. So let's just show you, there it is. Okay, so I'm gonna press that now. I'm gonna press it so that the, um, shh, Mr. Iron, Bob, Bob, none of that. Um, so I'm going to press the seam allowance down. Now you can then trim it. Um, it's best if I put it on here actually. I don't want to stretch it, but because it's bigger, it's funny, I'm so not used to working with things that are a bit this size, but you are actually, it does make things a bit easier when it comes to ironing, because things fit on the end of the ironing board that wouldn't normally. Um, press that so yes you can we then we do then tell you to, to uh, trim the seam allowance down um but i think i'm going to overlock mine and then i'm going to um then i'm going to top stitch it <coughs> so for now i'm just going to press it but i'll do that afterwards um i won't do that because i want to try and get the sleeves natural side seam stitched with you guys <clears throat> so that we can resemble having a t-shirt that's almost finished. Da, da, da. It's also pressing it is helping to stop those bits curling, which will make it easier when it comes to overlock. Okay. Right. So, now we are going to stitch the underarm seams and the underarm seams and the um, side seams. So 
So I'm pinning. We've got notchy notchies there. So right sides together here. This is on the sleeve. So I've got a notch there, and then I've also got a notch there. I'll pop the pin in that one. And then I'll just go back and fill this up. Now, if I was making this for myself, I'd probably just mark the notch pins, put the notch pins in first, and then go back and fill the whole length off. But because this is quite long, I'm just going to do it in sections. So I now need to line up these two points. They should be going up towards the sleeve, those seam allowances. Make sure that they're nicely aligned. Got a seamless join there. And then a pin here. How are we doing for time? I'm probably going to get one side done, aren't I, guys? But at least then you get the gist. The hardest thing is, the, like we said, the neck tie, neck band. So we've done that. And now this is just more Ziggy Zag stitch. Oh, that's good. You know how to do notches. That's good. Glad to hear it. She's a winner. Why that's come in my head? <laughs> I do not know. Oh, I know what I meant to say. I said it on Instagram, but I haven't said it here. Our international shipping is now open. Only for the things that I'm shipping out. So Rosie's doing the uh, copy shop files. So she's not shipping those out internationally. So if you wanted, um, <clears throat> you can't get those internationally. But then I imagine you wouldn't. You'd probably find it cheaper to get. Oh, God. <laughs> I knew that was going to fall off the table. You'd probably find it um, cheaper to get... Um, that done in your own country but fabric and physical pattern sales you can now get them from us i shall be i'm now shipping that and we had a flurry of international orders when i announced it and i thought oh i must remember to say it today to you guys thank goodness i have right <clears throat> zigzag stitching 1.5 centimeter seam allowance back to the five eighths of an inch or 1.5 whatever you prefer and <clears throat> make sure you don't start too close to that edge so we're not going to have a chance to finish this, but once you've done the these seams, all you then have got to do is you've got to decide whether you want to do some trimming of that seam allowance around the neck on whether you want to do a top stitch or not. And then you've just got to hem sleeves and uh, the bottom of the uh, t-shirt. And if you're nervous about seeing that, if you do check out our stitch school, if you join stitch school, you can join it up for just five pounds. Aww. Thank you. Um, five pounds um, a month, and you get access to all these patterns and all this um, extra videos and me teaching without waffling. Of course it is. A cover stitch machine would be wonderful. I'm not sure, Sally, if you were around when we were having our cover stitch chat, but we don't have one at Sew Over It. Mainly because I, we always felt that we wanted to design patterns that didn't require things that most people don't have at home however I have said that maybe as a little treat um, post lockdown we'll treat ourselves to a cover lock machine so that the team can use it at work never stop the waffle <laughs> you know it's so funny so when I first started my YouTube channel um, <clears throat> we did a bit of an analysis you can analyze like how much people watch on average and there was like People, I think the average watch time was something like 10 minutes. So people were missing the end, which was basically the waffle. I used to try and keep the waffle just to the end. And um, they, uh, so anyway, so I was like, okay, well, I just need to make them quicker. I'll make them quicker. Anyway, so I think for about two videos, I didn't do any waffle. And uh, people were like, no, we love the waffle, do the waffles. <laughs> I was like, okay. And that's why Molly <laughs> hilariously set up a hashtag, hashtag Lisa Comfort Waffle. I'm very good at waffling. My parents will uh, 
sometimes mum's like, Lisa, what are you saying? I'd be mean, like, is it worth you talking at the moment? What are you saying? No, oh, sorry, mum, I thought I was interesting. No, darling, not interesting. Aw, <laughs> oh, yay, that's lovely that you're going to uh, join Stitch School, Emma. Fabby down, Dilly. There's not much waffle on there. Not as much waffle. Okay, we are there guys. We have done one side seam. Um, <clears throat> so you do the other side seam in the same way. I'm gonna also overlock mine so it looks super slick and professional for my friend. Um, and then, um, oh. <laughs> Thank you, Sal. Um, and then, yeah, cover lock if you can, or otherwise, just press it up. Yes, Jasmine does waffle, like her mum. Oh my goodness, does she waffle. <laughs> she talks all the time, and it's hilarious. And she does that bit thing where she can't sometimes just starts talking before she's formulated the sentence in her head. So she'd be like, mummy. And I'd be like, yeah, she's like, mummy. Like, yeah, mummy, mummy. I'm like, yes, <laughs> what is it you want? probably a bit like that with you guys you're like just spit it out Lisa right guys that's it for today I know we haven't finished it but I'm hoping you'll be able to finish that yourselves um because it's relatively simple now um and I don't know if my friend will uh, offer himself up to be sending a photo of him in it but uh I might try and put it on dad but I think it will look be a bit big for him but anyway um I have though I am going to go outside this afternoon and get a photo of my pajamas because I finished them at the weekend and they are lovely and I really wanted to wear them but I was like oh I can't wear them yet I haven't photographed them for everybody so yeah I'm now like how have I not thought to do this combination for summer pajamas already I'm so happy because I get quite hot in the summer and I do I always like sleeping in trousers um but like I find that normal pajama tops like just get too hot so like a vest and even a cotton vest so much better so yeah Expect a photo of that up on Instagram at some point this week. Right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. Oh, Laurie-Anne, thank you. <laughs> Buying us a coffee. Happy Monday, everybody. Um, tomorrow, we are, thanks, Sal. Thank you, Carol. We are going to be doing the Eve dress. Now, I recommend, guys, um, that you, if you are sewing along with me, you're going to have to do a bit of homework in between because... Sewing an Eve dress in two hours, definitely not possible. But we'll do our best, won't we? That's what we aim to do. That's all we can do. So thank you so much. Thank you for donating, those of you that have. And don't worry if you can't afford to. Like I said, it doesn't matter. We understand that not everyone can afford to at the moment. And we're just glad that you're here and you're joining us. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That is a nice way of saying thank you as well. Okay, guys, see you tomorrow. Bye.